My fondest memories as a kid, or rather the most memorable gifts that I received, were all video game related. My parents were never really the type to surprise us for Christmas, so they never wrapped our gifts. Instead, they just asked us what we wanted, within reason, and we'd go get it. I have these very specific memories about where we went to get these things. I remember going to the basement of the bay at Oak Ridge Shopping Center to get the original Game Boy. I remember going to the video game kiosk on the Skybridge at Pacific Center to get Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. And I remember going with my mom to the Toys R Us in Lansdowne to get the Nintendo 64. This year, as in previous years, I'm participating in a dad blogger gift exchange through Facebook. Perhaps it's only fitting that the gift I received is both video game related and it's not wrapped unless you count the packaging that it comes in from Amazon. Warning, incoming dad joke. Warning, incoming dad joke. So the Nintendo Switch is a real game changer. So if you'll play along, let's switch gears and start with an unboxing. So the box itself doesn't exactly give anything away, except there's a label on the side telling me it is the 8BitDo N30 Pro wireless controller, which you've probably also guessed from the video title. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So it comes with its own carrying case, telling me that everything old is new again. 8 is very much into the retro appeal of stuff, so that's why the controller is styled after the original Nintendo too. So, I guess this is the handy carrying pouch for the controller itself. It looks a lot like my Switch uh, carrying case actually, with the little mesh pocket on top and the elastic on the bottom to hold it in place. But obviously, The real star there is the NES 30 Pro game controller itself. So let's go ahead and open that. The style is visually very similar to the original NES controller, but obviously the shape is not the square block that we're used to. It had more of like the, the curved sides. Let me just pop it out here. So it's probably closer in shape to the Super Nintendo, but even then not really. You kind of have these two circular shapes with a rectangle in the middle. They had to obviously change the design a little bit to accommodate some of the extra controls that you'd want for the Nintendo Switch. It also works with uh, PC and mobile devices. So you have the dual thumbsticks here. Yeah, and they are clickable. Four face buttons, A, B, X, and Y. Start and select, which I guess would correspond with the plus and minus on the Nintendo Switch controller. Directional pad. And then R1, R2, L1, L2, and the micro USB port for uh, firmware updates and for you know charging and such because it is a Bluetooth controller. Also notice there's a couple of other buttons on the bottom here. I think this one is the power button and that's for turning the Bluetooth on and off, possibly, or like a back button, I'm not really sure. Hang out another foam insert and another foam insert. And inside the box is another box. There's more cables and stuff on the inside. So the first one here, again, everything old is new again. So there's an 8-bit do FC30, everything old is new again. Bonus keychain, like so. The micro USB charging and data cable in the kind of classic gray color to match the controller itself, sort of, like the grayish beige color. Now, from what I understand, it doesn't work right out of the box with the Nintendo Switch because it's not officially licensed or anything like that. So there is like some software that you need to do and it's a bit of a workaround, but apparently it does work. So I'll go ahead and go through those steps now. All right, so let's see here. 8-bit do NES 30 Pro Switch pairing. Uh, this looks like a good source. Sure, why not? So, da -da 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 -da. first thing I need to do is make sure it's one of the compatible models, which I believe I have. Head over to the support page. 
locate the firmware button, locate the listening for your controller and click to download the new firmware version 4.0. I don't see any LEDs blinking. Where is the LED on this? Hold the power and pairing button for 3 seconds. Yellow LED will blink. Oh, there we go. So the website instruction says to update to version 4.0.0, which this one apparently already shipped with, but there's 4.0.1 available now, so yeah, I might as well do the update. Focus. Yes. Okay, so what I need to do, press and hold the power and Y button together to power on the controller. Where's the Bluetooth settings? So if you're looking for an affordable alternative to the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch, you might want to look into these family of wireless controllers from 8BitDo. A little more versatile, also works with the PC and Mac and mobile, as well as the Nintendo Switch. I've always haven't played with it very much and the setup process was a little bit more runaround than I had anticipated, but now that everything is paired up, it should work just fine. I don't have nearly as much time to play video games as I used to, but it's certainly nice to finally have a second controller for my Nintendo Switch. In any case, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Michael Kwan, and you have yourself a very Merry Christmas.